Hello, soldiers. This is Moonwalking Kingdom back at again, and we have another very special collab for all of you. All right, so I have my very special guest with me for the video, and that is MJJ Captain EO. What's up, everybody? How are you doing so today? Very, very happy to have him for this. Uh, we're in, we're gonna be talking about something that you know a lot of people don't really bring up, and that's Thriller Twenty Five versus Bad Twenty Five. Now I'm gonna ask you, MJJ Captain EO, since you're my guest, which album do you prefer? Bad Twenty Five. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that as well. If you guys haven't, feel free to subscribe to his channel. We're gonna start this thing off and um, we're gonna throw the Thriller 25 since it came first. Um, what don't you like about it? I it don't got a lot of unreleased songs on it. There's not a lot of unreleased songs on it. Uh, yeah, because if I'm going to the the, uh, the track right now, the only new content we got now, obviously we have all the the Thriller songs, and uh, something I liked about it was the fact that we had the the especially like on the on the, the deluxe versions they had the Quincy Jones interview parts. Yeah, the Billy Jean demo. It had the instrumental for Thriller, and it only had three unreleased songs, which were "Summer in the Dark," which actually was was released already. On to the special edition. That's yeah. That's the ha <laughs> ha nice. So, what you, so what do you think about the remixes? The remixes are okay. Why not good? It's some good ones and it's some bad ones. But well, okay. Okay. I, 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 uh, which one do you like the most? Because I, I like the Will I Am ones. Yeah, those ones are good. But, I like that. We miss with Ben Jean like that. It's just like the, it's like a club mix kind of. Kanye, um, I, I didn't, I didn't like that one that much. It ruined the song for me. Same thing with Akon. Want to be starting something? I, I love Akon, but. Yeah. That one, that one just didn't do it for me. <laughs> I think it was the other one. It was like a song called. It was basically a band theme mix, but it had nobody on it. With just oh, like, you're, you're probably referring to something else. Uh, then. Yeah, it was and, on and, the. And, and what about what, what about beat it for Fergie? It was okay. It was not. I prefer the original beat it. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, I I don't like the beat it Fergie. I mean, it's it's. Eh. I mean, she kind of sounded, it, it just, to be honest, it just sounded like it was her song and not Michael's. Yeah. Once Fergie came in. Yeah. I for Fergie, I just, I just, nah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's just go to, now, For All Time. Now, this is one of the only song. well, there's three unreleased, so, like, you know, there's, well, someone well, yeah, is one, but. Oh, it's, again? it's only one unreleased song on the album. Cause oh, well, there's, well, there's two because we didn't get four all time until like that album, and also Carousel. Yeah. Carousel, uh, out, out of all of them, the Carousel is probably the best one. And then yes. for all time, for all time, I don't, I don't know if you knew this, but for all time was recorded during Dangerous. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. You knew that. It was written during Thriller, but. Uh, I think it was split between two sessions. So yeah. Okay. Now let's go to bad twenty five. This is what we've been waiting for. Now and you actually have bad twenty five, right? Or this is yep. bad Brand new with sticker. Oh on it. nice. So, so let so I wanna ask you this. What's better? In this, then Thriller. What do you think is better here? Cause they got those more songs, more unreleased songs. What happened? Yeah. More unreleased songs, and it got like tied to fight all from the same year. It's all from nineteen eighty-seven mm. or yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You have a point because pretty much all those songs were record were recorded during the the, the session. Um. I mean, I'm saying Thriller was, you know, any, like, this Carousel and Somewhere in the Dark were recorded around the same times, but, let, like, let, let, let's look at Bad 25. Also, you got, uh, Wembley coming with the Bad 25, so that was kind of, like, an extra, 
you know, thing. Like, we, we got a concert similar to, like, Ultimate Collection, how that came with Bucharest. Now, what do you think of Don't Be Messing Around? Good. I think it's just... Uh, I don't really count it as an actual song, because it's just a demo. They're just messing around and they're... Yeah. Messing around. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. But, um... According to the to the Wikipedia page, I really don't want to trust Wikipedia on everything. Uh, they're saying that that song was recorded in 1986. Around the Captain Your era. Yeah, around there. And back to Akon mm. for Gorilla 25. That was yeah. the, one of the only remixes and things on there that actually included newer vocals from Michael. Uh, Michael actually recorded that in 2008, and and I'm telling you, I think um, I I've been hearing stuff about about them tuning his voice. Oh yeah, you got the oh now now you're showing Thriller uh, 25. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because a- yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's the regular. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, now let's get back to Thriller. So uh, bad. What I'm saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, don't be messing around. It's it, it's a fun one. It, it, I I don't really count it as a an actual song, but it's but but it but it, but it's it, it's a it's just a very fun track. Um, next is I'm So Blue. Now, this recording was recorded in '87, and I many people have told me this song is about Diana Ross. Uh, you, you, do you believe you you kind of believe that? It could be any possible. It could be possible. It's about a lot. I mean, it's. I mean, if you look at the title, "I'm So Blue," he's clearly talking about a girl. Yeah. yeah so, and I mean, it's, 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 it's okay. It's not. It, it's. It's. Yeah. I mean, I I would give it a, another listen. What do you think of the song, though? I think it's okay. It. Party Michael was trying to say maybe a girl did broke his heart, and he was trying to put, film, make a song about. Right. He right. does do it for fun, the, for guys, people he know it got heartbroken. Right. Mm-hmm. He was trying to help. All right, I like that. All right, let's go to the next song. Okay, now this song is, I think, probably the most controversial song, one of the most controversial songs Michael's ever done. And this was a big mistake for the estate to release this because many fans have opinions on this, like very mixed opinions. A lot of people are like saying, oh, like, this is not good or. Because Michael Jackson, you know, he had many views on stuff. And since he was a Jehovah's Witness during the time, um, you know, he had very different views on stuff like abortion. And the next song is oh, Abortion Papers, Song and Groove. Um, it's all right. I mean, the beat's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to say my, any any other things. I just want to just, just say, you know, I'm kind of in between with this one. What do you think? Yeah. I'm Michael talking about people who get divorced and party. Yeah, but I, I, I don't really want to, you know, because like it, it's, it's yeah. just the fact that like they meant this was meant to just stay. I feel for this song, though, if I can say one thing, I feel like this song just should have never been out. And yeah, and the fact that you know it's. There, these songs that were on these, there was a reason why they didn't get released originally, and they were in the vault. And according to many people that told me, they Michael had, Michael has recorded thousands and thousands of songs, and they're unreleased for a reason, because you know Michael Jackson himself was probably not satisfied with some of the songs. Like like uh, a couple years later, they released uh, "Do You Know Where Your Children Are." Yeah, and that song was not released at all until 2014 so yeah. there was a reason why you know certain songs based on context and lyrics and what the song is talking about as you know that could you know so i feel that it, it it's probably just because of that all right let's just let's move on yeah free that song is free uh by the way both both, both of those are recorded in 87 uh what, what do you what do you think of free Maybe I feel like Michael Potty recorded about being free from the power is found. I feel like public, yeah, yeah. I think the funniest part, the funniest part of this song, is the very end when he goes, "Ronnie, you're so silly," 
and I think he was referring to a, to the one of the, the people in the studio, and they and then I think the laughing was intended for the song, and if you're if you're looking at it lyric wise, he's he, like if you go to the chorus, free free like the wind blow, I'll fly away just like the sparrow. So so it's so it's it's very, um, it, it could mean it, it this song could have many meanings. It just depends on what what Michael's trying to go for. So yeah, I, so I mean, I think it's you know because this was around the time the you know the, this is when the media started getting at him, but not as bad as the the allegations. But this is when like the rumors kind of started, you know, like the, the oxygen chamber and the, the you know it was other things, but and also the fact yeah. that he is this is around the time that you know people were saying, oh, he's a he's a skin bleacher, all this, all this, all these, all these rumors of just and. Or, you know, that yeah. He, yeah, he didn't want to be, you know, himself. And uh, yeah. that was, like, around the time that he was, he was trying to respond to that. Now, let's go to the next song. For me, I, I like this song. It's it's a very... Me too. It's a mellow, like... Okay, well, I'm saying mellow. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's a good song. I, I don't have a, I don't have really anything against it. The next song is Price of Fame. And this song, this is probably the one of one of the one of my favorites because me too the song, the song in my work i mean even though i'm not like popular it, it kind of relates to people in a way because the lyrics are based on if you think about it the song is about you know the struggles of being famous that's why and what do you what do you think of the song in a person? for me i love this song because it's like pipes of fame it's like a song you could jam to it's like people don't like compare it to Leave Me Alone because they both got. Yeah, I kind of compare it to Billy Jean because, well, not really, yeah. because if you notice in the with the pre-chorus, it's similar in a way because he because in Billy Jean he says, "My mother always told me, be careful what you do," and then yeah. in Price of Fame, it's my father always told me, "Don't you live now?" That's probably the that's probably my favorite line in the song, and it's. Father always told me, don't you live a quiet life if you're reaching for fortune. You won't live a quiet life if you're reaching for fortune and fame. Yeah. Uh, and as true, as sad as it is, that is the most factual thing ever. Because you will not live a quiet life. You're going to have people judge you. You're going to have people run at you and call your name over. I'll be also, yeah. I also got something I learned. Probably to fit, I feel like Michael was writing about himself, what he went through as a kid, as the death in five. He yeah. went through and be alone for one minute out of somebody wanting to interrupt him as a fan or yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So he was kind of putting himself in that song. That's, yeah, that, that that's great. That's a, that's a strong point there. The next song after Price of Fame is Al Capone. Now, a lot of you will, and I will say, this is Smooth Criminal's older brother. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of Al Capone? Al Capone is a great song you could jam to it anytime, right? It's like Price of Fame, Al Capone, you both could. If you think of Bad 25, those are the two songs it pops in your head mm -hmm. to listen to. Yeah. Now, about Al Capone. If you go, if you look at the title, that he, he's actually referring to a gangster, Al Capone. Yeah. And what I really, you know, discovered is the the fact that you know, you know, like I said, smooth criminal. And then, after, then the, the before this, I don't know if you knew, there was another song before Al Capone, which is unreleased. It's called Chicago 1945. And, and, yeah. Yeah. I we only I think we only we, I think we we only have like a snippet of it. I don't know if it's like a real thing. I I I don't know. But another really cool thing about Al Capone is that uh, a music producer in the name of Alexander MJ actually made his own bad tour rendition of Al Capone. I shall I, I should link it down in the description. You you got yeah. mind blown by this. Have you seen it? Not yet. Uh, I should I should send it to you. I mean, yeah. when, when this on that when 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 this is uploaded. Uh, which it is, <laughs> um, it, you know, it's gonna be down there. So yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna it out too. Um, all right, next uh, after that is Streetwalker. Now, oh, this is Bad Twenty Five. 
That's so different. Special. Oh, this is the bad special edition. That I want to see this guy. Now, because Streetwalker. It's in there. Yeah, Street, yeah Streetwalker. Um, I think uh, Al Capone and then another song that we're, that's actually right after this. But we're not going to... It was Streetwalker, the Spanish version of Just Can't Stop Loving You and Fly Away. Fly Away, which is actually... Streetwalker. The interview with Kenzie Jones. So we're talking about Streetwalker. Now, Streetwalker. Uh, I love this song. But, Me too. But Michael Jack, uh, I won't say the topic because Michael, you know, he's talking about. Well, I I don't I don't really want to say, it, but it, it's not an appropriate topic he's talking about. So I I I um will say that this song is you know a lot of people connected to the way you make me feel for yeah. some reason they 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 uh, some people can connect it to the way you make me feel i mean i i wouldn't i mean it kind of well what do you think of street walker see what well, a great song also to them with yeah people most prefer price i, I could put but see walker also okay it's on the list yeah. yeah, after yeah, sure. and when it comes to to, to the arrangement that, that that that's a great song yeah um all right let's go to the i think the best vocal performance yeah is fly away um fly away is a breathtaking song it's uh, that 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 is oh my god if, if you listen if you hear that on your buzz and that that's just michael jackson he's blessing you with his voice yeah like, especially in the uh, in the beginning and then once he gets into his falsetto Oh my god, it's such a great song. What do you think? Yeah, it, you, you it's a that? great song also. I agree, I could listen to it. Okay. Baby don't love me, baby don't love me, tell me I'm gonna fly away. Yeah, so yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, a, it's a very, very, yeah, I, I would say that. Would and say also, it makes, we get this. Also, that song's also for Michael, that's his sister, Ruby. Yeah, I was about to say, she did a cover to it. I think that recently was for her. Uh, oh, I was saying, yeah, that was originally from for her you know, and Michael album. Yeah. You can find so her. Speaking of speaking of covers, I don't know if you knew this, but my friend Justin uh, told me about this. Did you know that Butterflies was a cover? Yeah. Butterflies was a cover. Yeah. Um, awesome. Many many people do not know about that. Same thing with Fall Again. Fall Again was a cover, I think, too. Yep. Yeah. The Greats. Um, yeah, I can't find the original butterflies though. Um, and then also, I think "People of the World" was intended to be a cover too. It was from like a group called like J Friends or something. I can't yeah. recall what it was, but but I I, I, I I believe that that one was per probably could be a cover. Awesome. Anyway, "Fly Away," fantastic. Now let's go yeah. to the the other. Um, Toto Mi Amor is do and the, uh, the Spanish and French version. So I just can't. What do you think is better, the Spanish or French? Spanish. My I mean. I cannot pick because they both are. They sound really good, but I I want to ask you this: Why do you think this song was the only one that he did a song for like uh, for other languages? I I I feel like he should have done more. I think because it was a love song and to get the other side of the world to listen to it mm. and promote it yeah. more. I so. yeah, I, I would say that too. But if he were to do other other songs in different languages, I would have loved to hear a Spanish version of uh, "Man in the Mirror." <laughs> yeah. Or any in like, can you feel it? I could I, I could see many like a uh, multi language type, you know. Liberian girl, that's a great. Go. And my my friend, who's an independent artist, uh, Aladdin, uh, he did a Japanese version of Heartbreak Hotel. Uh, so I, sh you know, you should listen to that too. Um, yeah, it's, it's a Japanese Heartbreak Hotel. Nobody has ever done this before, and it's it, I I was mind blown of how how much it worked because he got a translator to do it for him. Yeah, so, yeah, he was, he was doing yeah, so he did that. And yeah, then we have the bad Afrojack. Oh, oh no, the Pitbull remix. Yeah, uh, I'm not a fan of this, although I do love Pitbull. 
<laughs> Where the hell has Pipple been? <laughs> <laughs> I think we get one. I think. Uh, that we, I'm going based got. on. Oh yeah, but then you have this. Yeah, we got. Demon, the Speed Demon Nero mix. I I, I haven't heard that one in, in quite. That a one's. Time. I give it that one. I prefer that one more than Pipple yeah. one. Yeah. And then you have the bad Afrojack club mix, but without Pipple. Um, yeah. And then you got yeah. the stupid uh, bad song with, with without the horns. I know I, I I I talked about that in my other video, pros and cons of Michael Jackson songs, and I was disappointed when I heard of that remastered version. I'm I, I I'm not a fan of it. They took away the best part of the song, and that's the horns. Yeah. Okay, now, Thriller 25, you know, there's not really much there, in my opinion. I mean, I think Bad 25, would you say Bad 25 has a lot more variety than Thriller 25? Because yeah. all we really have for Thriller 25 is a couple mixes, but it, that, that's like, for like other stores, they had like a Target bonus track with a mix. Um... You got a lot of remixes that I, most of them I'm not a fan of. We got some, oh, we we forgot to talk about this. The Vincent Price excerpt. Yeah. He's like, this is Vincent Price. Hi. This is Michael Jackson. That's it. This is, and then the when this. Yeah, there. When they, when, they, when they say it together. Yeah. The thriller. <laughs> <laughs> And then when Michael says it by himself with his soft voice, that thriller. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's something about the the CDs nobody knows. The the the, the last one is hard to come by. It is for thriller or bad. I think for thriller. Thriller. Mm. Oh yes, because there were two different covers. Yes, yeah. there was the one when he was with the zombies. And then there was there was one with just him just laying down that. So I think that's the deluxe and then the regular. There's different covers. Yeah. Because see, I think the deluxe one is the booklet one. But ah, that's Ah yeah, because they come with the with, with the guide. Yeah. The little but program. then the regular one like this. One with this, it does the, CD. the regular C D only with sixteen songs. So you yeah. can't those deluxe 16 songs but with deluxe that includes the the billy jean demo it comes with like the quincy jones stuff and then it comes with the billy jean other mix and then the, you know, the and the pits are different sometimes you could get the one michael the wolf and this one yeah I got so it. so apparently um oh we also forgot to mention um i know got the hots was not on it but i don't know if you knew this but got the hots was was actually i think saida garrett um did a cover to that yeah. Eddie Garrett did, 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 did got the Hots cover around 1988. Uh, so yeah, that's something uh, interesting. And also, yeah, we've talked about covers lately. You know, I should make a video about covers as well because there's a lot of people that did That'd be covers cool. to Michael Jackson songs. Like, like there was one person that did. I think, I think it was like Denise uh, Williams, I think her name was, and then she did a cover of "We Are Here to Change the World." Yeah. That's a great one. Now, we are done, but we got to ask one more question. What's yeah. better, Bad 25 or Thriller 25 based on what we've discussed? Yeah. yeah. What's better? For me, Bad 25. Oh, wait. Bad 25 for me as well. There's so much more on there. It's, you know, there's more songs. There's, I don't know. It's just... Also, the fact it came with a concert, which Thriller didn't do. Thriller 25 could have gave us a, another Victory Tour show. Yeah. Or maybe even something rare from Thriller. By Hostries and the other ones. Yeah, well, those those songs we got, like, those songs are probably leaked. Like Nightline and all those songs. Yeah. So those They'll be great then. Yeah. Yeah. So they could have put Nightline on, on Thriller 25. They could have put all those songs on Thriller 25. Yeah. Could those all from the same year. Hots. There's another one. Hot Street. Um, she Trouble, which actually, I heard She Trouble was actually released originally. 
There was like some on some soundtrack. I I can't recall. Party to all this and party, mm. party that. Yeah. Cause I heard a song called Wayne was basically on a vinyl, like, ah. in one of the Ben Diller albums, singles. Yeah. It was a song, an unbelievable song. I never put it on until the time five, and I feel yeah, like yeah, they were like some songs that they like scrapped completely. Um, and then also, you know, the the fact that this was actually um, Thrill Thrill Twenty Five, as sad as it is, the album released one year before Michael Jackson passed away. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I feel like, and also I also feel like bad because Michael Jackson was like he could have given us. Salty feel like give it a good a good feeling in it. Yeah. Like those good songs from that year, but you give us one one song. Not I'm anything bad about Michael. I just wish he could have added more songs on it. To make because mm-hmm. basically buying I better people mostly will buy the specialness and we mostly got everything. Yeah. That's a mix. Right. Just basically got everything. Mm-hmm. Cause you just don't want in the dark. You got binging demo. Yeah, because bad twenty five. There was no like version you would get. You would just get bad twenty five. It was just that. Yeah. But the, but sometimes people would get the Wembley show just without the the CD. I mean that's what I did. Um, some people would say because the bad twenty five, you would get bad twenty five, and then the Wembley DVD would come with it. Which was something that, you know... They... And one was, sir, you get a DVD, the CD, and the search, the teaser, from the woman only. For, uh, for bad? Yes! Bad. For bad 25, you would get the, yes, for the one night only thing. And then, the thing, yeah, they, they also come with, like, a... Did it come with, like, a book or something? Like, a program? A little, little, little thing. Oh, I think Dilla come with a book. Because I had a book. It's a video, you go on... Video by Pissers, I believe, on it. Yeah, so they, so they, they, I was to say, I think they both have their strengths and weaknesses. I think they both are good albums, but if I, if I had to pick one, it'd be Bad 25. Yeah. So, me yeah, too. that's, you know, that's going to be it for this. Uh, I want to say thank you for, for coming on and just thank you out. for having me. Oh, no problem. I, yeah, definitely, uh, some, check, check his stuff out. He's, yeah. He has some videos up so, already, so yeah. All right. Uh, take care, everybody. Keep tuning in. Just like it's gone in this space. Yep. And yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Bye.